Do you ever wonder how some of the biggest creator in the world create their subtitle? Well, I am going to show you exactly how to do it. I'm going to show you how to animate subtitle and how to create preset for them in Premiere Pro for later use. So let's get into it. So here we are right inside of Adobe Premiere. The first thing obviously we need to do is to create a text for that. I simply go with that type tool, create any text that I want. So I'm just simply go with the hello. So I need to make some basic changings with my text. For that I simply go to window and here I get an option of essential graphic. My sure it will be checked and you get a new panel right here. So select your text and go to edit and here we have some basic settings of our text. So the first thing I want to change is our font. So I just change it to Comica X. This font is simply same as Mr. B's video. So that's why I choose that font. I also mentioned this font link in the description below. You can check it out. This font is absolutely free. You can get the download link in the description below. And now I need to make it align at the very mid. We just increase it a little bit like a 400 is pretty good for us and make it align. So the next thing is we need to add some stroke for that. I simply go with this stroke option and change this stroke color to black. I need to change this value and increase it to 100 or you can set it according to your choice. And now here we have a shadow. Make sure you can add the shadow and change its color to black or white is actually on you what theme you actually pick. So I'm just go with the black one theme so black shadow is always great for me and you can increase the distance value if you really want to do as you can see our title is just ready if you really want to go with a simple subtitle then it's enough for you so before moving to anything make sure you can move this anchor point to the mid of your text because we want our text to pop up from mid not from bottom corner so all we have to do is go with our text properties in effects control and at the bottom we got a transform properties of our text so now we need to create a scale keyframe right here and change its scale value to around 70 which is really good for me and now move two or three keyframes ahead change your scale value to to 110 now move keyframe ahead three times and now change its scale value to 100 and now your pop-up is just ready As you can see, it's working good, but if you think it's a little bit slower as compared to your videos, you can decrease the duration between the keyframes. As we already use a three keyframes duration, you can decrease it to the two keyframes now your text is just coming up more faster. It's working really great. So if you want to use this pop-up text animation again and again, so my recommendation is to create a preset and use it whenever you want. For creating a preset, all you have to do, go to effects control and here we have our text. Just right click on it and here we got an option of save preset, name anything, whatever you want and go with the anchor to in point and now if we go to effects control and here we get our preset right here if we want to use this preset all we have to do is to create any text that we just go with a dot one and now apply this preset to your title and here in essential graphic as you can see we have our two title so we need to delete this dot and here we have a basic title that we actually need to add some title so we just make it align and you all set. Yeah, it's working good. So now let's try out this pop-up text animation with the audio to make it more realistic. So here I have an audio from my last video. So let's synchronize this audio with that text and let's see how it's look like. Here we have WhatsApp, just change our text to WhatsApp and now make it align to the mid. Make a cut and cut our text layer, Control K and delete the layer. Now make a copy of your original text layer for that. Just hold Alt key and drag your text layer and we have a copy right here. And now match with your audio. And all set, we just cut our text layer into the multiple of time and match with our audio. And here is the final result we get after that. What's up everyone, hope you are doing great. So yeah, that's working really great. You can also get a free pop-up animation preset. Download link in the description below, my sure you can check it out. 
So here we are right inside of Wondershare Filmora. Wondershare Filmora is one of the best video editing software if you are a beginner. So simply I just go with a default one because I want to customize our text. And here we have a simple text. So I just go and change it to something like hello. And now I just go with the advanced settings. Now make it align to the very mid. And here at the bottom, I got an outline right here. So I just change it to something like black. And now here we have our shadows as well change its distance a little bit like that and now let's change our font into the comica axis which is same as we done in adobe premiere pro you can also increase the thickness if you really want to do so i just set with a 15 value which is really good for me and as you can see our simple subtitle is just ready now it's time to animate our text as we can done in adobe premiere pro so for that i simply go with a keyframe if you don't see any keyframe option right here all you have to do is go with a custom toolbar and here you got a keyframe just drag and drop to your timeline and you all set just click on it here we have a keyframe and change the scale value to 70 as we done in adobe premiere pro make it little bit at the very beginning like that now move ahead three keyframes like that and create another keyframe change the scale value to 110 move three keyframes ahead again and change the scale value to 100 which is our default value and there you go our pop-up animation is just ready as you can see it's not a pop-up it's just coming out from top to bottom so make sure you can select your text and make it align at the very mid just click on this mid option and there you go so as you can see it's really simple to create a pop-up animation in filmora as well it is same as we can done in adobe premiere pro so wondershare filmora is one of the best software for you if you really want to save your time and if you are a beginner in video editing they are providing some really good feature that save your time a lot they are providing stock media that's mean you don't need to go to some other website to download stock media for using in your videos you can directly come here and search anything that you really want in your video you can get a free audio tag right here that you can use in your videos you can get a title template that you can easily drag and drop to your timeline and you can change a text whatever you want i really recommend that you go ahead and check it out the wondershare filmora link in the description below it's absolutely amazing and time saving video editing software so yeah that's all for today's video i hope you like this tutorial if you like this tutorial give me a big thumbs up and comment down below if you have any question you can also ask me any question on my instagram thank you so much for watching this video i will see you in the next one